Well, good evening, guys. Trying something a little different. As I said, good evening. Before I set my camera up, I took two casts, got two baths. So maybe they like this spinnerbait in the evening. Let's find out. I'm looking for some bluegill. I've never ate bluegill. They say it's pretty tasty. I do have a static line out there, uh, just a small bobber and a small piece of night crawler. Uh, I did have a bite on it already, but that was short lived. Now, if you recall in the past few videos, I did say that the bluegill and the perch were chasing my spinnerbait right back to shore. So my thought process is here, uh, I've got my bobber it's probably about 25 feet off the shore and about maybe three feet of water, maybe. So what I'm doing is I'm casting past that. So if the bluegill chase the spinnerbait in, maybe they'll find the worm that's a little more bite sized for them. All right, so I was clearly robbed there. I just had to rebait. The only problem with this is I'm not traveling light today, which means I've got my camera, tripod, chest mount. I've got my static rod, which is just a spinning setup with four pound test lines. It's actually my crappy rod. So I just threw a fresh worm out, just a small half inch piece. I gotta walk all the way back, get my five gallon pail and my spinner bait. I'm thinking I like traveling light better. There we go. Oh, we hit that a ton. Oh yeah. Come on now. Okay guys, that's two that came off. Am I not setting the hook hard enough or what's the deal here? They were dropping like that the other day. I'm gonna go check my bluegill rig. Would appear something's interested. What do we got? We got some weeds, I know that. He's a little small. There we go. Oh yeah, I set the hook on that one. There we go. This guy was not getting off. Guys, you remember how skinny those other fish looked? He's skinny, but he looks a little healthier. I think I lost the other fish because of the weak hook set. That's my guess.
A little too small for the frying pan. Yep, we got something. A little bit bigger. Come on now. Oh, what do we got? I mean, really? This little bass wanted that little piece of worm. Seriously. Little piece of worm. Come on now. Didn't get it on this camera, but my uh, bluegill setup just cut me a large mouth. I mean, that worm was so small, and the hook was so small, I can't believe the bass even took the time to chase it. All right, we're gonna put a halt on the bluegill fishing for a minute. They're all small, keep getting snagged up. We're gonna walk the corner here, see if we can get some big bass. Oh, I guess he showed me what's what. One thing I do want to do is I want to fish this weed patch right here. So I stand off at an angle to it so that I can get behind it. I'll run it down the left side. I'll run this side. This allows me to bring it around the front of the weed bed. Right now it's on the right side, now it's coming in front. So that's allowing me to work the whole weed bed. I cannot believe there's not a fish in there. See, now I'm working the other side, just in a crisscross pattern. The bass will hide in weed, weed patches like that. Just to ambush the bait fish as they go by. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my god. I am always famous for telling myself one more cast. Oh, Jesus. The problem is the mosquitoes out here are the size of my truck. Must be a sign the GoPro died. I just want one more fish. One. That's it. Not too much to ask, we gotta move. All right guys, real quick, one thing I did figure out, those two fish that came off, when I was setting the hook, I was setting it this way. This is the open part of my hand, so it's the weakest part of my hand, so I wasn't getting a very good hook set. What I should have been doing was setting the hook this way, which is the closed part of my hand, therefore a little bit stronger. Your pro tip if I was a pro. All right, guys, that's all I got. I can't take the mosquitoes anymore, they are just annihilating me out here. Next time, bring bug spray. Note to self. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video, guys. Just keep in mind this big pond here. I'm going to be hunting some ducks and geese come wintertime. I'm hoping to have a retriever by then, all things considered. But uh, that's it. I got to go. I'm getting eat alive. I think four or five fish. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. I gotta go. Later. I think I didn't catch any fish in the last 10 minutes around the corner there, because this big dummy forgot to hit the record button. Did y'all see that? The 
mosquito the size of my truck just dive bomb my forehead. Then they knocked me out.